What's uh, interesting about Robin Hood is very little is known about him, and I think that makes it easier for writers to kind of read in their own interests and their own preoccupations. And so he really takes on kind of the interests of the time in which stories about him take place. Uh, the ballads I teach about Robin Hood really come out of the, the 15th, 16th, and 17th century. He, in all the stories, he represents the common man uh, fighting the injustice of, of the authorities, usually the local authorities. Um, he, um, he's always an archer, so he's very good with a bow and arrow. Um, and that kind of distinguishes him from, from knights, right, who uh, very often use, use swords. He's, he was, he's always, a, as far as stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, uh, he was always a, a kind, virtuous, um, charitable outlaw. Uh, it really wasn't until he, the stories were, were uh, kind of took root in America that he became known for, for actually stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. So there's, there's a whole kind of redistribution myth that is emphasized uh, in the American versions. Uh, and in that regard, it's interesting that uh, I grew up with a TV show from the 50s. And a lot of the writers on the TV show had been blacklisted. So there was, there's a bit of a kind of a socialist tinge to those uh, Robin Hood stories from that TV show. And, and uh, even one of the shows was, called, was about an informer. Because he's so ambiguous, um, writers are able to kind of project into him um, a great deal of what's taking place in, in a contemporary society. All the while sticking to the idea that he, that he is an outlaw, and, uh, but a good guy. As far as the historical uh, coordinates, um, England was um, being unified by um, a variety of monarchs, um, and the um, the real challenge there was um, to persuade the barons to um, pledge fealty uh, to a king, right? Um, at the same time, you know, these kings were involved in, in their own um, adventures. Uh, one of those big adventures would be the Crusades. The, um, the current film, the Russell Crowe film, uh, is set uh, during a time when um, Richard Lionheart is returning from the Crusades. The, the crown is bankrupt, um, so they have to uh, go in, out into the countryside and collect taxes from the people. And they do this in a very ruthless, violent manner. Um, uh, so the king wants authority, the king wants money, the people aren't too happy about giving up their money, right, uh, because to finance the, the king's uh, the wars abroad. Um, so a lot of that, is, you know, is, is historically accurate. Well, because there's no historical record, you really can't say uh, that any version gets it wrong, unless unless you're talking about unless they're portraying history um, in an anachronistic way.